All right, so I got up this morning and decided I was going to go down to Truman Dam and see if I couldn't catch crappie, walleye, anything that would bite, to tell you the truth. Um, here it is. If you've never seen Truman Dam, here it is. It's pretty massive. It's an awesome place to fish when the fishing is good. Um, one thing that will kind of worry you is when you pull up in a parking lot and there ain't no cars there. There was probably three or four people on one side. There was one guy on the same side I was. Uh, one one gate was open, not really open. They were generating a little bit of water, not much. There was some current. I had a little faith in it. I thought maybe everybody was at home getting ready, preparing for the Super Bowl, We've gotten their smokers going, uh, and it'd just be me down there just tearing up crappie and walleye all morning long. Boy, was I in for a shocker. But anyway, it was good to get out of the house for a little while, go down, check out the dam, get a little fresh air, uh, see what see what what's being generated down into the Lake of the Ozarks. But here it is. Like I said, there was a little bit of water running. There wasn't wasn't much, but there was some current to it. And it could be the front coming in tonight. There was supposed to be like five inches of snow. Who knows? Just one of those days. There it is. Truman Dam and all of its glory. Here in a few weeks, that'll be packed full of spoon boolers. But there it is. Let's go down. Let's try a little fishing. Let's try our luck. See what happens. I'm going anyway. We are at Truman Dam. Trying to get something, anything to bite. When you pull up down here and there ain't no cars in the parking lot, it's not, not a very good sign. I put a new line on this and it is casting not worth a damn. So we're going to the old faithfuls at the rivers, white curly tail grub, and just plain lead head. We're going to let it sink just a little bit, about five seconds. It's going to kind of pop it a little bit, and we're just going to reel it back real slow. Let that I want to get I want to get it to where it feels like I can feel everything bouncing off the bottom.
there's nothing biting here today nothing you can always tell when you get down here and the banks are just lined with people and parking lots full you're gonna have a good day when you get down here and the parking lots empty yeah it ain't gonna be that good from my house to here's almost 45 minutes better than sending it home i guess i've already fished the other side no luck i come over to this side because the current's picking up over here just a little bit better there's some current coming out but not a lot <clears throat> i would think it'd be enough to get the fish biting <clears throat> if you don't fish up here a lot it's hard to it's hard to say God forbid you ask somebody on Facebook about this because they all throw a fit. <clears throat> it's going to bounce it off the bottom. Probably just a little bit longer. I'm probably going to work at crankbait maybe just a little bit more. Actually, I might work a big old spoon. Maybe. I don't know if I want to hang my spoons up. Don't let it follow all the way down. We're going to get right down here where it hits this little bit of an eddy. I can feel it ticking on the bottom. And I'm going to start rolling it back real slow. Nothing. Nothing. Well, if you're wanting to know what Truman Dam looks like, there she is. That's it. Water looks good. Got a little bit of current to it. It was either do this, tie jigs in the garage, or listen to people talk about the Super Bowl all day. So, we decided to do this. One other guy down there, he's freezing his butt off too. It's cold, it's only like 32, 33 degrees when I pulled up. And you always hit that snag when you're fishing these places to make you think you got a big one. The good thing is, when you're fishing little jigs, <clears throat> they usually come undone pretty good. They come off pretty easy, pretty simple. That right there, when you're fishing behind these dams, that is classic, classic bait. Always have a white curly tail grub in your box. Always. I usually keep a pack that are good for like 8th ounce, 16th ounce. And we're throwing it up. The current's coming this way. We're throwing it up and I'm just letting it settle down. Always be prepared to lose a bunch of stuff when you come down to these places too, because you're going to. Sometimes taking that bottom, getting to where you can feel the bottom. It's where your bite's gonna be. Sometimes it's midway down, and sometimes it's up shallow. You just gotta kind of throw a few things and see. We ain't even had a hit yet this morning. It happens. Well, I've seen it days up here where fish are like, would hit it like right there where you see that jig come through the water. You just see them come up from behind a rock and just nail it. Some days you can just pitch that jig out there real short, let it fall, twitch it back. Sometimes you can even do the same thing with a crankbait when you're up here. That's probably probably pretty safe to say behind just about any any spillway.
I'm just let that one sink and see. Don't don't ever pass up all these little areas down through here where all the rocks and stuff are at. Um, sometimes it's just hard to say where they're going to be at. seen a few boats all the way down there usually when they're biting they're staying down there pretty good pretty steady them boats been coming in and out nobody's really staying one place very long there's a few people over there across the river ain't nobody down this bank at all one guy was there a little while ago he's gone on this side it's just me and the seagulls and that is it let's try a couple more casts and then we are going home The old ugly sticks. I feel it moving. I'm pretty sure it's somebody's fishing line. There it came. It wasn't. It's on a rock. One more. Actually, I'm going to try to tie one of those spoons on. I'm going to tie one of them on and try to fix the line on that other rod. I might lose it. I might not. I'm going to find out. And that right there is my walleye box arsenal. That's a good river bait too right there can't ever beat that one always have this one in your box too it's a good bait and you can see there's, there's all kinds of different baits i bring down these places with me let's just tie the top one on and use them all I want that spoon right there. This one. What I like about these is they come with the swivel built in. Um, anytime you're using these, you're going to end up flying twist. So if you're if it don't have a swivel. Uh, Definitely add one to your line, but all I'm going to do with this is just use it to get some line out of this reel and get it all pulled back in. Like when I spooled it last night, it went on, went on kind of loose in spots, and then it went tight in other spots. It's pulled up. it let's try it who won a country mile we're gonna use it though
gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna throw way up there. Hands are so cold, I can't even get a good cast with it. I'm just gonna let that baby sink all the way to the bottom. We're just gonna bounce it up. Let's see what happens. <coughs> Never know, especially when you're fishing in a river. Thing it hung up. Oh, come up, come on. Well, we know we got made contact with the bottom. Well, that current down in the bottom is ripping. Reel it up, let it catch up with the bottom. I try to. Hit it right in a big old rock in town. Then we'll get this one back. I said I'm done.
is cold, fellas. We're gonna pack up. We're gonna head back to the truck. That's my wall box arsenal right there. GoPro, cell phone. stuff some of the ones some of the ones that I've made right here I don't know if I turn that off, if it's going to quit recording or not. We're going to find out. So, turn it off. See what happens. Put all my stuff up. Get my backpack on. head to the truck keep going get the radio on usually when you come down here and you're fishing water is usually all the way up here because me, this was like the golden spot. You can get a jig to bounce across this. Because you're usually fishing up there. That's how low the water is. You see the uh, handicap accessible dock over there. How far it's out of the water. Uh, you can see the water line. Our lakes are low and they have been for a while. I don't know if they're ever coming back up to normal. The way it's going this year, we ain't getting much rain so far. But if you're deciding to come down here and go fishing, you've never been, check Facebook, look for fishing reports. Call Cody's Bait Shop. He'll tell you. Cody's bait and tackle. If I'd have called him, I probably could have saved myself a trip. Sometimes you need to just get out of the house. So, not a big football fan. Pretty easy walking, not bad. Here in a few weeks when spoonbill season hits, this place will be crazy.
feel warmth coming out of the truck. Well, let's run to town and go home. Well, I'm back home now, so there you go. There was a trip with me this morning. I probably should have just sat right here in the garage, made up some jigs, did some videos, but I got outside. Send me a comment. Let me know what you think about that video, even though it was no fish, absolutely at all harmed in the making of that video. I can guarantee you that. You can see that. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, next time, maybe we'll get some fish.